Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Wednesday Watch with Kazala. So every Wednesday I answer your queries. So if you have any questions in your mind, just let me know in the comment section below. I also have a lot of experts on my channel every week. So I may take up your question with some of the experts as well. So please do not forget to ask your questions in the comment section. Now for today, one of the viewers has asked an interesting question. I think a lot of us relate to it. And she says that I am too emotional. Is being emotional good or bad? Now being emotional can have a lot of context and meanings. But for the purpose of this video and maybe something that most of us would relate to, I am assuming the context that whether being emotional will expose you to more hurt and harm and make you more vulnerable and make your decisions more impractical. Uh, so that is what I'll try to answer today. Okay, before answering the question, let us first understand the fact that every human being experiences certain mental states, what we call as emotions, be it anger, love, hate, happiness, sorrows, whatever it may be. But some of us are more inclined towards expressing our emotions and some of us are naturally more inclined towards guarding them. It may be due to a number of reasons. I'm not going into those details right now. It may be your circumstances, how you've been raised up, how things were when you were uh, during your childhood. But whatever it is, one thing that we understand is that every human experiences emotions. And therefore, being emotional is a natural human attribute and cannot be as such termed as good or bad. So when I was growing up, I also kept asking myself this question that am I too emotional? Am I too sensitive to things? Am I feeling a lot which others are not feeling? And that actually caused me a lot of pain and hurt and uh, you know made me cry a lot of times. But out of all that, uh, my personal experience, I can tell you now that being emotional can neither be termed as good or bad. What can be termed as good or bad is the action that you take out of your emotion. See, understand that the purpose of every emotion that we experience is to drive us towards an action. Whenever we feel something, our brain gives a signal to our body to act. So the issue that needs to be addressed is whether that emotion is causing you to act in a good way or in a bad way. Let us understand with an example of say love. Now love is a beautiful emotion. But when you feel love for someone, okay, now I'm not talking about love for your family or uh, love for your brothers and sisters and your parents. I'm talking about love for a partner, the relationships, uh, love that causes the most amount of hurt and love for which most of the people turn into devdas. So that love I'm talking about. So now there can be two actions that you might take when you feel love for someone. One is you might want to become a better person for them. You might want to do good things for them. You, want, uh, you might feel happy. And the other kind of actions could be that you would start stalking that person. You would start thinking about that person day and night. You would start going into a shell and not do anything. Uh, just to withdraw from your daily routine and kind of hamper everything that is happening around you. So love was not good or bad. The action that you took was good or bad. Similarly, anger. Now, a lot of people will say that anger is not a good emotion. But no, anger is not an unhealthy emotion. I have talked in detail about anger. Check out this video. It would be somewhere here in the link. So anger is basically an emotion that is kicked in when you feel that there is some threat to you. If you do not experience this emotion, you would never be able to protect yourself from that threat. So anger is not good or bad. But what might be good or bad is the fact that when you are angry, whether you are punching your fist in the wall, whether you are screaming and shouting, whether you are uh, becoming violent or you are taking a pause, understanding the situation and then behaving in a way so as to correct what caused the anger. So it is basically when you allow your emotions to take over your conscious mind and you stop thinking rationally, that is when you get the unhealthy outcomes. 
so the next time whenever you feel that being emotional is causing you pain it's causing you hurt it's causing all those tears rolling down your cheeks then take a moment take a deep breath pause and try to understand what the trigger is is it your emotions or is it something else and then try to work on those trigger points if you think this video helped you in any way do like and share also do not forget to share your opinions in the comment section below please do subscribe to the channel see you tomorrow toodles